we switched our uh, we switched our cell phone carrier. Oh yeah. And in in the process, did you keep the same number? Uh huh. Yep. They just poured it. They what? They just poured it from where it was. They poured it into your. Oh, you uh, can do that now. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So you keep you keep your number. Um, you can keep your phone too, but uh, so I've always had an iPhone, and Indrani's always had a Samsung, and th- she got a new Samsung. But she doesn't like it as much as her old one for a couple of reasons. So she's she we we got that Samsung. We could bring it back, but she's trying to convince me to just since we've got it to just switch it, and we can just switch our SIM card, and I can be in that and have that phone and change it. So my question to you: I already asked another person. Should I stay with an iPhone or should I switch to say I've never had an Android? If you give me a green bubble, I will never text you again. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid interacts of Corbin. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram, Twitter for juicy content. Thank you for your resource on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter accounts. Go like button. I don't text people with green bubbles. Oh, really? At all. Oh. Uh, well, so that would be a no? I'm not a... I am not a fan of the... And I've, I've, been, I've had Androids in the past. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the interface. Everything in my ecosystem yeah, is, Apple. is Apple. Right. And so... Th- when you everything in your ecosystem is Apple, everything works beautifully together. Right. Obviously, I think that Samsungs have had the technology way ahead of a, a iPhone for many, many years. Yeah. They've always released stuff, but they always have a lot more bugs as well. Right. And that's uh, what I've heard. I've heard they can get more bugs. Yeah. And that unless you need the specificity of some things that have some complex programs and some editing software and things where you're doing a lot of creative content, yeah. you don't really need to make the switch. I don't. I. I personally, I think you. You wouldn't like. Well, I've tried to use her phone. I didn't particularly like the layout. I. I don't think uh, you don't do enough complex stuff to no, warrant you needing an Android for Not like at all. the better technology that they usually have. Yeah. Um. So that's right. just well, that's having. just my opinion. Yeah. Most Indians that are watching this probably have Androids. Androids. Probably. Yep. Um. Especially if you're in India. Yep. Um. Although they did come out with an Indian. Except for Vicky. Yeah, they did come Vicky out has with it. an Indian line made in India yeah. to make it cheaper for right. Indians. Yeah. Uh, anyway, today we got a new trailer that just dropped for a new documentary. Uh, it's oh, yeah. Angry Young Men. Yeah, didn't Zoya post it on this yes. on Instagram? Angry Young Men, and it's uh, not about the angry young man. Right. It's about the writers of the angry young men. Uh, I believe specifically Salim Khan and Javad Akhtar. Yes. Uh, so it'd be cool to learn a little bit about because we've Absolutely seen some would. of their films in yeah. terms of uh, their writing. Um, but I'm sure there's, there's so many things that we do not know about them. Yeah. Um, so this will be, we got sent this a lot. Um, if it's anything like the romantics, it could be a very good. Yeah, trailer. that was a great documentary. Really enjoyed that one. Here we go. See, I've done lots of interviews. Who's that? <laughs> this is the first one that I'm actually nervous That was a on. joke. I mean, the only reason I knew that my dad wrote those films was because he was my dad. They did about 24 films together, out of which 22 were blockbusters. It hasn't happened before. I don't think it's going to happen again. We are short of stars. <laughs> Whoever has grown up watching their films carries a little bit of Salim Javed in their blood. People sat up and took notice, and a lot of them also said, ki, kya ye apna ko se kya hai? Unme se bhi ek thi vase, by the way. Once they got this success, they were very irreverent. They were the brats. <laughs> they were very humble. They were not at all humble. <laughs> <laughs> they had to fight for their names in the credit. So, there was a problem that they were going to break. This is the fact that they were going to break. 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 Can you imagine? That's the most important part of cinema. They said, I want to crore more than Salman. That was the power of Salim Jab. Nice. I'll kill someone, right? 
तो काम से मार इन्होंने यही किया लाइफ काम से इट वॉज द हॉटेस्ट राइटिंग जोड़ी एंड देन सडनली वन डे दे आर नॉट टूगेदर शुक दी इंडस्ट्री कभी बैठ के डिसाइड नहीं किया कि हम पार्टनरशिप में काम करेंगे He would like an elder brother to me. साथ में काम करते करते पार्टनरशिप बन गए Why today people talk about those dialogues? They remember that is because it's not just dialogues, it's it's philosophy. जब तक बैठने को न कहा जाए शराफत से खड़े रहो। पुलिस स्टेशन है तुम्हारे बाप का घर नहीं है ना ये। Great title for it. Yep. Them being together. was an altogether different story Awesome nice awesome looks like uh one so much information we've obviously heard about these gentlemen especially Javed Akhtar I I know basically whenever I see his name in the writing I'm like okay that's one Farhan Zoya's father written everything back in the day kind of thing Yeah um the other name I'm not as familiar with even though I'm sure we've also seen his name because we've seen a lot of his films i don't know their whole dynamic i don't know obviously no. to learn even more their importance on the industry who they were as people yeah. i love the fact that they were advocating for basically to be paid with the start and credited well, if you're making these hits you're the reason obviously yeah. um uh which I mean, it, it happened in hollywood in early hollywood too um many writers um it was uh, who's that one that they just did the like they wanted him to write it but they didn't want him to put his name on it they just made a movie about him not too long ago it was Brian Cranston that did his uh Tumbo Jumbo Jumbo Tumbo oh yeah yeah Frumbo uh 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 Grumbo Trumbo Trumbo was it Trumbo I think it's Trumbo yeah uh, the plight of the writers man yeah especially I, especially in early cinema and i love that this is something about the writers because the writers as we've mentioned many many times before <laughs> actors have nothing to say without the writers there's no they're the storytellers so yeah. uh i i love learning more about these two and about their lives and about they how they changed uh indian cinema i loved the particular choice to say they changed hindi cinema, hindi cinema. they didn't call it bollywood no. hindi cinema and the voices obviously of those who know them i mean i don't think there's anybody in the industry that hasn't been i mean they had everybody in there yeah hasn't been touched by how can you not be when you look at just the credits they show that they are, have the writing credits for i mean the only person in there that was i mean the only person wasn't there that i saw was shahrukh khan. Shah khan but that doesn't mean he won't make an appearance in yeah. there yeah but everybody so, they had salman I'm khan excited. amir rithik they yeah. had amitabh bachchan they had obviously his, zoya was there his, farhan was there yeah his, um his children uh looks interesting Very i I'd interesting. Be, one i know there's a bunch of films that one with a is it zanjir Zanjir, yes. I know it's an old Amitabh yeah. film. That we have not seen yet. Uh, I know we have it, though. Somebody sent it to us a long time ago. Um, Jaya. Oh, Jaya Badturi. Is that her original name? I think so. Okay. And uh I know that's a that's a very popular one. Yeah. Um that would I think it does it qualify for classic or was it eighties? I know it is a classic. Right. So but for our classic month. I think I um changed that. Because it I don't think there's anybody that wouldn't consider this a classic. Sanjeev. I know we need to watch it. Maybe we need to watch it before we see this. Uh, what's like their most important? Obviously, we might have seen some of their most important movies. Well, obviously, Sholay. Sholay. Yeah, but uh, uh, what are what are some Duar. that we? Yeah. Uh, what are what are the top say five most like, important films they've written? Yeah. Both both together or separately. That you think like oh you think of them you think of blank film right? Because uh, those are probably films we should probably at least know about. Yeah. I mean, I know about this film, but I we've not seen it yet. So. Anyway, so let us know. It looks really interesting. <laughs> you know they have a pill for that. 